Hey, what's up? It's John, aka Operation iDroid, and today iOS 13 was officially released. You can find the update in the settings application under the software update tab if it's compatible with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. One of my favorite features that was released with iOS 13 is the ability to play games with a PS4 or Xbox controller. We have been asking Apple for this feature for years and they finally delivered. Playing games like Fortnite, Apple Arcade games, and even emulators just got a whole lot easier with a controller. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect a PS4 or Xbox controller to your iOS device to play your favorite games. All right, connecting a PS4 or Xbox controller to your iOS device is very simple, but as I mentioned earlier, you will need to be on iOS 13 or else this will not work. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open your settings application, click on Bluetooth and make sure your Bluetooth is on. We'll start with an Xbox controller. To connect your Xbox controller, just tap and hold on the Xbox button and sometimes you'll have to click the button on the top for it to appear in your Bluetooth settings. You'll get a pop-up that says pairing request and then hit connect. However, you can also get it under the other devices tab and all you have to do is click on your Xbox controller. Now I'm gonna quickly disconnect my Xbox controller to show you how to connect a PS4 controller. As you can see, I'm actually using a scuff controller and I wanted to use this one just to show you guys that you can also connect a scuff controller if you want to. So to connect a PS4 controller, all you have to do is tap and hold on the PS4 and share button and then you'll see your PS4 controller appear under other devices. Now, the first time I did this, it did not work and I kept it in the video just to give you some troubleshooting things that you can do if your controller does not connect the first time. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you are out of range of your PS4 or Xbox because if you tap and hold on the PS or Xbox controller, it may turn on your console and then you can't pair your controller to your phone because it's already paired to your console. So as you can see, I'm going to tap and hold on the share and PS4 button again until the LED starts blinking. And now when I click on my PS4 controller in the Bluetooth settings, it will connect as you can see there, as well as the LED is now lit up. So now that my PS4 controller is connected, let's check out how some Fortnite gameplay looks with a PS4 controller. So as you can see, the on-screen controls automatically disappear when you're playing with a controller. However, it's not the same as playing on a console. You'll have to mess with the settings within Fortnite a little bit to get the controls from your PS4 controller to be the same as when you're playing on a console. Because as you can see, when I click the aim down sights button, my aim down sight stays aim down. So if you want it to feel like how you play on console, you'll definitely have to mess with it a lot. But playing with a controller is definitely much better than using the on-screen controls when playing Fortnite mobile because it frees up a lot of the screen for you to be able to see better and a controller is just so great. Now playing with a PS4 or Xbox controller is also awesome in emulators. As you can see, I'm playing Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team, which is a PSP game. And if you wanna learn how to play PSP games on your iOS device, I'll have a link to a video I made on that in the description below, or you can click on the card that you see on screen now to learn how to do that. Additionally, Delta, another awesome emulator that plays Nintendo 64 games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Super Nintendo, and a ton of other awesome consoles, also runs so well with a PS4 controller. As you can see, I'm playing Super Smash Bros 64 with a controller and it is so dope. If you wanna learn how to get Delta, I also have a link to that in the description below. Finally, PS4 Remote Play finally works well with a PlayStation controller anywhere that you are because you can connect your PS4 controller to your iOS device now instead of having to do a workaround like I showed in my PS4 Remote Play video, which allows you to play your PS4 games on your iOS device, which is super sick. So if you wanna check that out, make sure that you check out the description to see that video or check out the link that I have in the description below. And that's pretty much it. I hope you have fun playing your favorite iOS games with a PS4 or Xbox controller. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button as it helps out the tutorial immensely and I really appreciate it. Share this video with a friend so they can learn how to connect their PS4 or Xbox controller. And with all of that being said, I will see you all in the next video. 
Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video because I have some other dope tutorials coming out soon and I will see you then. Goodbye.